Hey, this is Brian Taylor with Zumba TV, and I'm here with David Coons of Authentech, and uh, we're talking to him a little bit about their products. Authentech has been around since 2006 and before, and they've been working with uh, within other countries like Japan, and Docomo has uh, used them as the premier source for security in uh, their networks, especially as it relates to uh, near-field communications or mobile payment systems. So I'm going to talk to David here. He's going to tell you a little bit about their uh, products. There's three products here. He's going to talk to you about we'll just move from one to the other starting with their VPN system this is the box that goes in their back room and it uh, hooks the VPN securely into your corporate network Dave can you tell us a little bit about this yeah well as a company we specialize in a security related uh, software and hardware intellectual property licensing sure sure and this is a VPN client which is licensed by the manufacturers of Android devices and it's going into Motorola and LG products. And this is mainly for Android? Yes, it is. Okay. And we also uh, license for other aspects of the VPN link, including back in the network. But specifically today, here, we're here to talk about the mobile devices. So could this hook into a .NET network? It doesn't matter Microsoft or, or Java? or. It doesn't matter. What you're doing is you're making a connection that is secure back into typically your corporate uh, network. It's an IP network, any type of IP yeah. network. Okay. Yeah, and it gives you a very high level of security. And what we're doing here is also talking about our fingerprint sensors. So we manufacture the actual sensors, and okay. in the case of VPN, we can use the fingerprint sensor on the phone to very quickly and conveniently uh, activate the VPN link. And so you have the security and convenience. So this system is actually built to already uh, work with your fingerprint system. Uh, if it's not working with the fingerprint system, uh, how would you authenticate? What's another way? With a keypad? or? Oh, the typical method is to enter a password. Okay, great. So uh, entering a password or using their fingerprint system. Now we're going to come take a look at the actual fingerprint system. We're going to move over here. And uh, this is an example of um, a ThinkPad actually using their system. And uh, I'll let uh, David tell you a little bit about how that works. What we're really talking about here is applications that make use of the biometric sensors, the fingerprint sensors. And I've got some examples of the sensors here. That oh, okay, great. Look at these. Um, so this would you actually manufacture these and engineer them. Okay. Uh, so we, des we design the silicon and we package these sensors and sell them and we support uh, Look how small that is. What does it look like on the other side? Uh, the other side is like a typical integrated circuit that you then solder down onto a board or a flex circuit. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, these sensors then would be in laptops, would be in mobile phones, and you can sort of see the evolution as we go from that device to... Here, let's see. We can hold this right up here. Will it fall if I hold it up here? Um, yeah, I can take them one by one. I mean, okay. it, it, you can sort of see that you're, you're looking great. at very uh, cosmetically appealing packages. This is just a connection portion, so what you would see on the device is just that glossy black surface. And then that's what I have in my HP right there. And they're becoming extremely small, so ultimately we get to a product that's so tiny that you can hardly even find it. You have to. You were showing me you have one of these on a phone as well. Yes. Actually, the Motorola Atrix uses our AES 1750 sensor. It's on the back of the phone right here. Of course, this phone has a case on it, so it doesn't look like the original Atrix, but the sensor's on the back. And to unlock my phone, instead of entering a password, I just press that sensor to bring up the screen, then I swipe my finger, and that brings up my display. Wonderful. Isn't that great? The amazing thing about this is that I can unlock my phone securely as quickly as someone can unlock it who has no security setup. Because in Android, if you do not have security set up, you still have to at least slide that slider. Sure, just as fast. Great. And it really, it takes two hands. So with this, I can just, even before I get it out of my pocket, I can have it unlocked. Even while you're driving, but you probably wouldn't want to do that. Normally, of course, you don't want to use your phone while you're driving, but the, the beauty of this is that I can unlock my phone without even looking at it. Right. There's no other way to unlock a phone without putting your eyes on it to at least find that slider. Uh, David, do you know of any uh, carriers that have this type of device already in America or something that's coming along? AT&T AT &T does? carries okay. the Motorola Atrix phone. Oh, that's great. So you can get it right here in America with AT&T. Yeah, actually worldwide, yes. As we roll out mobile wallets on, on phones. Mobile wallets, okay. People are concerned that now if I'm using my phone to make purchases and it contains all of my credit card information, how is it secured? Exactly. What if I lose it? So if you have to secure it without a fingerprint sensor, you're going to be entering a PIN or a password. Right. right. That's pretty cumbersome. I mean, how, what would you, how would you like to have to pull out a credit card and have to enter a password on it to make a purchase? Nobody would want to do that. 
Exactly. So every time you do it, now all you have to do is use your fingerprint like you just, just showed us. Like, just like unlocking the phone, but now I assign a finger to be my purchase action. Okay. So uh, one finger might unlock. Oh, so it's not just unlocking it, it's actually the action that you use to the purchase to make the application open. And you guys actually work with companies to develop the that may develop the software That's side right. of that too. That's right. So okay. it, with, with this phone that's set up, I swipe my finger and it goes straight to the unlock uh, unlocks the mobile wallet okay. application mobile which is wallet. ready it's to make a purchase a and there I've made a purchase. And boom. Just like that. that. That's great. Wow, Dave, that's so wonderful. I really appreciate you showing us all these great things. And uh, what do you think of Zumba TV so far? Ah, very professional. All right. Thank you, guys.